yeah, you know, tough to us. And uh, like, that was the ball game where we did just, you know, being physical and aggressive. We had a lot of people were saying you guys had a lot to play for. Obviously, you were a bubble team uh, coming in. Do you think, uh, where do you think your chances are of going to the tournament are? I have no idea. You know, uh, I'm not trying to sound negative, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, whatever happens after this, we're still going to get a chance to, you know, play in post-play, post either it's NIT or NCAA. Um, NC State, they kind of look like the dark horse team to win this thing. I mean, they're playing good basketball. You saw them yesterday against uh, Virginia Tech. Just talk about that a little bit. Uh, it's just like last year, you know, around this time, they, they really picked it up. They, uh, they're really coming together. And they're, they're a strong team. You know, uh, they got a lot of weapons on their, on their team, which is hard to, to play against. Thank you. I heard you were pretty good. Trying to tell these guys, you kind of feel like you blew an opportunity to sort of maybe solidify yourself as a team. Yeah, you know, uh, that's how it is sometimes. You know, uh, they wanted it more, and uh, it showed to it showed to this afternoon. In the first half, it seemed within reach. The second half, it kind of got out of y'all's control. What happened? Yeah, you know, we always talk about the first four minutes uh, in each half. You know, when we come back out there, and uh, they just took control. Uh, Scott Wood was unbelievable tonight. Uh, he, just, he couldn't miss. He was on fire, and uh, they just fed off his energy. Could, could you tell that Joe had kind of been on their struggle in these last few weeks? Yeah, you know. Uh, I know he would never admit it to you guys. No, he never did, but he, he's the type of player, you know, even off he's struggling, he's still trying to do other things to help his team win. 